Okay guys, here we are back again with a new product review, well, demo video, whatever you want to call it, on another White's product. Uh, this time we have the, uh, the original Farmer Rancher in red dog color, 8.5D this time. This is the 4811 last. Uh, White's most popular last is what the smoke jumper is made on. Um, their second most popular last is the 55 last, which is um, a very often uh, duplicated last by other Pacific Northwest brands. And right here is the cutter that I did the video on. This is a 55 last, for instance. Okay, but. This time we're gonna talk about this here, the Farmer Rancher. Um, I couldn't really find any videos on this. There may be some, but they don't really come up too well in the search bars uh, if you go to look for them. So that's why I'm covering it. Um, in case anyone like how I wanted to <laughs> see it, uh, there's really no options for you. I mean, you could watch the the Drifter V1 Rose Anvil, uh, it's very similar. This is an 8-inch boot. Uh, the Drifter, I believe, is a 10-inch. So, let's just take one uh, for example. And, I, you know, I love the white um, wrapping that this comes with. I always thought it was neat. You know, the little cartoonish uh, images that, that are on here. You get the idea. There's a, uh, a smoke jumper. There's a guy actually making boots. Here's a, a lineman. There's the whites building. Stuff like that. It's, you know, it's... Um, it's neither here nor there, but it's just some aesthetic thing. Uh, here's the kilties that they have. A little more sawtooth than the cutter ones. A little more jagged, I'm noticing. Pretty neat. Comes with raw hides. I did one boot in the raw hides. And then the other one, I did kind of like how Weston did his boot with the yellow laces. Um, just to kind of give you guys a look at both. How would you lace yours? Um, I decided, at first I was going to maybe give these a try. But I'm going to take them out and use the raw hides. I just love leather laces. They're my favorite. Um, I think they work better, too. I feel like they fit tighter. So, yeah, 8-inch boot. Um, we have a lager heel. It's kind of slight. It's not crazy. A uh, Vibram um, uh, 430 mini lug again. Um, now you see here, um, the difference in just the way the, the foot is. Now this is an eight, and this is an eight and a half, and you can see there's a bigger distance between here, whereas in the rancher, more of that area is just footbed. You can see they really scuffed up the, the Vibram logo big time on this. Um, I don't know what happened. They got a little carried away. They did it with both of them. They really mauled them up. Um, otherwise, I mean, along the edges here, it's pretty fine. Um, I feel like they did a good job on that. It's that sander, whatever they use. Whereas on this one, and this is supposed to be the exclusive Division Road one, it's a little more marred up. Um, came like that. So... Um, this is a smooth leather. It has a pigment on it. And um, that reddish brown pigment. So this is a red dog. This is a hand, stone, hand sewn Norwegian welt. Hand sewn stitch down they call it. Um, Nor Norwegian rolled welt is what it's called. So it is double stitched. If you see in here, it's double stitch all the way around, but as we near, as we round out here, 
you'll notice the um, the veg tan of the midsole starts to cover up a lot of the second uh, row of stitching. Now, that may be a good thing in that it protects it in some way, like from the stitching getting torn and wear, but um, I didn't like that. I wanted to see both rows of stitching, and it's probably a bad thing because it likely makes it harder for them to resole it with that being in the way. So it's probably a bad thing that they did that, but it is what it is. Um, I got these on eBay, brand new. They were, normally this boot costs 680 US dollars um, plus shipping. I bought it, but then you have to wait for it to get made and that could be anywhere from like three to six months or so probably six months and um, I didn't want to wait I got it immediately and it, I had to spend an extra hundred dollars to do that I did it through a uh, an eBay store called pristine or something I get they order like a big wholesale stock of whites boots and then just sell them at a premium <laughs> that's what they do um, so you know typical whites QC issues we got a scratch here we got that. That looks pretty bad. You know, um, the cool thing about Red Dog is as it wears, the um, the color underneath, it wears nicely. The scuffs end up looking pretty cool. Like, it has a nice patina to it. Um, you can see some lines in here, but I think, I believe that's from the actual leather itself naturally the animal hide must have been scratched or something so it's interesting I don't have too many frayed uh, stitches anywhere on this boot unlike some of the others um, so you can see how thick it is here uh, at the bottom if you could tell there's no um the sock liner doesn't have a White's logo on it or anything. So I thought that was kind of weird. So yeah, eight and a half D. And on the other one, you could see when it was made. I don't think I've shown this on any boots yet. So here we have eight and a half D and that one, 24. Um, one, I mean, you they could take that as the month. But generally, from what I've learned, um, the first number is what week of the year it was made, or started to be made, or whatever. And the second number will be the year itself. So, first week of 2024. Because I've seen the numbers not match up. I've seen 17, and then... Or, what was it? I don't know. I don't think it's the month. Uh, I think it's the week. So I've seen the numbers not match up. It wouldn't have been able to be, like, the 24th month. You know what I mean? Um, on my other boot. So, anyhow. <laughs> Long-winded here. Explanation there. We got pull loops. Um, love that back stay. You'll notice, like, the box. So it said Farmer Rancher. When you buy... Um, like on Baker's website for um, if you buy bounty hunters, they'll come in a white box that says Farmer Ranchers on it. And I found that very confusing initially because it's like, well, this isn't a Farmer Rancher, it's a bounty hunter. And they're technically a different last. The bounty hunter is a 55. So I think it just has to do with the box size. Most bounty hunters are an 8 inch boot or a 7, they could be a 6, but. I'd say eight's pretty standard, so they probably just put it in a big enough box to fit it. Um, see if we're zoomed all the way out. No, we are not. So I want to take a look at the arch at the last. The last is the biggest thing. Um, so I've had a number of 55 last now, and I haven't, you know, obviously I haven't used this boot very much yet, but I already know that I really like this last, and I think I like this last more than the 55 and I'll tell you why um, 
It has maybe a slightly steeper arch than the 55. I mean, it does. Uh, it does. It's slight, though. It's it's negligible. So there's that. And there's that. So you can see it slips down a lot more. And you can see, I mean, this curving up a lot more as well. And then let's hold, like, this NYX uh, 690 last. Also very steep. A little steeper, really. Well, I don't know. They're they're right on point, and this is a higher heel, so um yeah. So not only is the arch a little uh, slightly more pronounced, but it's the toe box. The toe box is so awesome. It's so much more spacious. Also, this is a soft toe. It's very much, it's the least structured toe of anything I've had yet, and I love that. Um, I really like it. I mean, this, well, I can't really say that. I mean, this is a soft toe as well, um, unstructured, but I don't know. It feels harder than this. Maybe because this is a more elevated uh, toe box, like it stands up taller. Um, this 55, you know, so it's a taller toe box, as you can see, compared to the 55. But it's also just more rounded. Um, it starts back further. See? Um, it just works with my... And this is a lace to toe, so don't let that three off. But, uh, yeah, it just works better for my foot. The 55 is just too narrow. It looks nicer. It's sleek. But... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it looks nicer. I kind of like the rounded, um, what, what did Weston call it? Square jawed? Jawed or jawed? Square jawed? Yeah, I mean, I, I like that a lot. You know, it's like, it's kind of like what I wanted my Packer boot to be. I, you know, I don't like the pointy, pointy toe aspect of it that much. Um, but I still like the, the beefier look of it, so... Yeah, man, this is the, the the Farmer Rancher. I've been wanting this for a long time. I uh, initially wanted the uh, the brown one. The leather is made by Seidel. Seidel from uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They make most of the work leathers for the PNW brands. Um, and yes, it is pronounced Seidel, not Seidel. Um, so Whites does their fully gusseted um, tongue, uh, the same leather as their upper, which not all brands do that. They usually use a cheaper material for the tongue. Um, and yeah, again, you have the, the hand rolled well. And you can get boots that don't, from whites that don't have the hand sewn stitched down, but, and they're usually like $100 cheaper. Um, whereas Frank's, his stuff usually doesn't have uh, hand sewn, it's regular stitch down, and you could pay $60 extra to have it hand sewn. So, you know, it's, it's more labor intensive. Um, I like it better just for looks and aesthetic reasons. Um, it's not really going to give you much difference performance wise, but it appears to be more like a storm weld type type deal so I mean I love the silhouette from from the inside I just think that looks great um, but yeah so again 8 inch boot 10 inch boot you know and then 6 inch boot so it's right in the middle and uh, I do like 8 inch boots a lot um, I think I would get, I'd like to get a seven inch boot for real. Um, I think that would be a nice, happy medium for me. But yeah, I mean, I fell in love with this kind of style. Like I said, I initially wanted the brown when I was first looking up whites, like on eBay. Um, so you get the brass eyelets, by the way, with the speed hooks. Um, so yeah, 
brown. Then I couldn't find them anymore. They just stopped popping up, you know, just praying used ones come up. So I'm like, screw it, I'll just get a new one and I'll just get it in Red Dog because it's unique and that's what the Drifter was done with. And this is basically like the Drifter boot, um, except it's an 8 inch, not a 10. And what else was different about the Drifter boot? Not much. I mean, this is Red Dog, it's a 4811, soft toe, double wrist stitching. I think maybe. Did he have a block heel on it? Or slightly blocked? Maybe not as tapered of a logger heel? I don't remember. Um, but <laughs> they were extremely similar. I think it even had the 430. Now if I could have ordered this custom, which, you know, I was just too impatient to, um, I would have got a V-Bar, a uh, Vibram 700 sole instead. Uh, the 430... I don't know. I can feel it. Like, I can feel this when I walk on the c cement. I, I don't... I think the V-Bar is the best. So that's just me. Uh, as far as, like, Vibram full soles go. Even half soles. I'd rather have a, a V-Bar half sole, so... Uh, yeah, we could analyze the other boot again once more. So you could just take a look at the finishing of it. Again, both boots were smoothly done around the um, the actual midsole of it. And yeah, um, Kilty, I don't know if I'm going to leave it out or put it in. I still haven't decided what to do with the damn thing. Um, I might put it in, I don't know. See how high up I can get it, you know what I mean? Maybe it won't bother me as much. But yeah, I think that's everything. Um, I just wanted to, you know, show this and mention the 4811 last. Um, it just goes underlooked. I, I want to see if I can get a bounty hunter with the 4811 instead. I mean, because you think the 4811's this giant, I mean, it's for big boots, you know, like smoke jumpers, but... Honestly, like, even though it's an 8-inch boot, like, it doesn't feel any bigger than anything else. Uh, it just has a more oval anatomical toe box that's just more comfortable. And, you know, the soft toe, like, makes it... I mean, the silhouette of it is just not that much more bulk to it. Like, I was expecting, or, you know, you would expect. Really dig it. That's what it would look like uh, if you're looking down at your foot. So yeah, anyone considering these, um, definitely a nice one. I really like it. Alright gang, that should be everything. Until next time. Alright, take care.